Hey, what's up guys, Tilker Reviews here, and today, because of the new Star Wars film, I was like, you know, lightsaber effects. Okay, so those lightsabers there in the beginning didn't look that amazing, however they did take me about 7 minutes to make, which is incredible considering that usually rotoscoping is going to take you a couple hours. So this technique I'm going to show you definitely helps speed it up. But for this effect you're going to need lightsaber footage, after effects, and a preset from Video Copilot. So once you shoot your footage, head over to Video Copilot and download the free preset. I'll leave a link in the comments below. After you do that, open the presets from Video Copilot and locate the lightsaber V2. Now find After Effects in your applications and locate where the presets are. Now just drag the lightsaber effect into the presets and it will show up in After Effects. Now you're going to head over to After Effects, open it up, and in a new comp, drag your footage in. Now go to the top and create a new solid. The color doesn't really matter since you're going to be covering it up anyway, so just click OK. Now head over to your presets on the right hand side, click down and you should see the lightsaber in there. And you want to use the lightsaber effect, not the one that says glow on the end. Once you have that, drag it on top of your solid. It'll come up with a warning, but just ignore that and click OK. Now a little lightsaber is going to pop up on your screen, and on the left hand side you're going to see a ton of settings for the lightsaber. You can scroll through those and see what you can change, including glow, height, width, all those sorts of things. The first thing I do is change my color, and you just do that by clicking and changing it super simply. Also for the shot I'm doing, the thickness is a bit off, so I just grab the thickness slider and widen the lightsaber. Now what you're going to do is go to the start and end points and click the stopwatch. This allows you to keyframe the lightsaber. The reason why this technique is so great is because you only have to drag two points on the lightsaber instead of rotoscoping every single point along the line. This just speeds up the process a ton. One more thing is that on the top of the left hand side, there's a little button and you just click that off. It removes the glow so you can move the lightsaber without lag. Now just move the ends of the lightsaber to where you want them and click the next frame to move on. Now just do this for all your frames and you have a lightsaber now. You can adjust all the settings once you're done with this, but it works pretty well. Another thing is that the more your lightsaber is moving, the easier it is to do. Because if it's just a still shot, you will see the flickering around of it as the keyframe changes. So it's not perfect. But if you're doing a lightsaber battle with intense fighting, this lightsaber technique works really well. The last thing to do is just to go get some lightsaber sound effects, and now you have a sweet lightsaber. <laughs> So that's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.